All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Live. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings Three Tours and Tournaments Part Nineteen, and we are back again. Uh, just some things I noticed on the map: Kocho, Zizia, and Zeti Two are, are all doing really well lately. Uh, they look bigger than they actually are. This is 22, 24, and 30. So, I mean, they're definitely nice little kingdoms. Don't get me wrong. They just look a lot bigger than they actually are. Kazaria is, of course, killing it and exalted among men. And, of course, we have England over here. Uh, the Jovial is still in fine health, so he'll still probably be around for a while. And they'll probably take more land because Jorvik's about to pass away because of being wounded and having great pox. Jarl Barad <laughs> Ivarsson of Jorvik is doomed. No, nothing else to it. He is doomed. <clears throat> and I know we mentioned that the King Udys of France from the Sancerre house, I don't know how they took over, are actually winning against La Roche for the Kingdom of Italy in their war right now. So he's not the greatest ruler, but maybe he just has enough of a lead that it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Sorry, I am like all messed up from pollen today. I didn't have a pollen, a pollen allergy until I was 28, and then, for whatever reason, my body decided, you know what, now this is going to mess up your whole life. Alright. So, Tullinids are still dealing with that. They're still doing good over here. Honestly, I know this This is an obscure house that has somehow taken over the Eastern Roman Empire, but I can see how this guy did it. Do you see this stat line? This guy's insanely good at what he does. And the Abbasid Empire right now? If we ever border these guys, this is going to be a lot. And five allies to boot? Oh no. Hostages from a bunch of things? This is a hell of an empire. Terrifying. Probably the strongest entity on the entire map of the world. Up there with Kazaria. And they almost border each other, so we'll see if they ever get pissed at each other. Interesting. Oh, they're trying to help Palabia, but they're all the way over there. Whoops. Alright, let's get back to it. Oh, uh, thank you so much to You Are So You, Warmaster Were Mustard, Ganja, Loremaster, Ricky Williams, You Are... So oh, sorry, Pass, Tobias Winker, and Meow. Um, a lot of great comments. Tobias actually pointed out that on the Great to Grand Tour, we can actually, like, change our route. Let's be honest, we're gonna do it. Uh, we already have Full Dread. We can actually change our route to avoid, like, some treacherous areas if we wanted to. Um, so, like, let's say this is, a, this is a dangerous spot and this is kind of a dangerous spot. I mean, here we're kind of doomed anyway if I try to go through this. But let's say I skip these two and I just go here. I can kind of skirt through and I can customize a route maybe. And that might make it a lot more doable down the road. Oh, wow. Alabwab. When visited, 25% chance your antiquarian greatly improves on aptitude. Huh. Oxum. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting. We're going to have to look at that too next time, but... For now, let's definitely get some gold together, because we are running low on gold after all that expenditure we made. And we are going to try to finish winning our war against the Tullinids. Narva is more likely to receive a good education due to Queen Ops tutelage. Oh, that's right, my kids. Uh, Jet was actually going to be a spouse with Om, um, our recent daughter. They'll be betrothed because there's a low r risk of inbreeding there. And then my next kid would be Narva, who we are. I we are going to do the uh, Narva Ka combo just because they're both pure blooded. We can hopefully get a lot more pure-blooded Terramin Dynasty kids going on here. You know what I mean? Get a lot more pure blood in the in the dynasty. We'll see. Uh, a chance of a genius Herculean also doesn't suck. So, And they're close together in age. I think Narmer and Ka are actually like great for each other. So send that proposal for sure. And that takes care of them. Then Jur has a betrothed with Pi. Uh, Aminat is betrothed to Nefetari. Who, someone pointed out in their comment that Nefetari actually looks a lot like Menkare. So, if that might be our best evidence that she is not... Like, she is actually our child. Just, just really missed on the genetic lottery is all. Which, you know, is gonna happen to some people. It's not their fault. 
I think we have every child betrothed to another child. No, Kepri is not betrothed. Okay. And Logus. Yes, Kepri and Logus. Set up TC. Yep. Okay. So we have two more sons than daughters. Okay. <laughs> we. <laughs> That's not super weird. We are taking back the wetlands, dude. I really want to get some martial stuff going here. Nice, Fatima, warlike. <clears throat> Need to get some people some land so they can actually help out. I didn't realize my kids can't help unless they have land. But we can give Fatima this duchy right here. It's a great duchy. And the reason we haven't given Pi anything is because he's going to inherit our stuff anyway, right? So, I mean... He'll, he'll get everything. Nefertari is going to be tough to make to make happy, but Fatima is going to be very good to have. So let's make that happen. Uh, also, we don't have a <clears throat> hostile scheme going on right now, so Amir Kuti. Man, I would love to abduct him and then torture him on cooldown over and over for exposing us as a murderer. That's super dark, but do you know how sick that would be? I don't think this one's happening. He's, a, he's in a foreign realm for negative 75. That's just never going to happen. <laughs> Neither is that. We need to figure out what we're doing with this. I don't know how to get more agents, to be honest. Huh. Let's start a murder scheme. And get our spy master involved to support this game. That'll get it to 4452. You expose us as a murderer, maybe you will become a target. Just saying. You're asking for a lot there. And that'll be our final enemy that we really have to take care of with a hostile scheme. There's no one else on this map really that's done us like has done us a wrong that I can remember. The Wrath of the Old Gods. Okay, with the Kemetic faithful beset from every corner by blasphemers. Pharaoh Menkares decided that it is time for all warriors of Amun-Ra to pick up arms and defend their sacred grounds by planning a magnificent campaign of religious conquest. Amun-Ra is with us. We have great holy wars now. The Kemetic Faiths. Oh, damn. I don't think we're doing that for a bit, but that is pretty fire. We're the only Kemetic Faiths. That's, you know, there's definitely some iffy stuff there. We'd have to be able to win the Great Holy War on our own, essentially. Other than our vassals maybe helping out. We're not going to be able to take out a Shari or anything like that. We'd have to take on the Abbasid, the Tullinid. That, and that might be it, to be honest. Uh, little thing right there. Convert Faith and Demot. Nice. Thank you, Shad Lai. Oh, yeah. That is spreading across nicely. It's already made it all the way to the, the sea in several areas. 336, 343, 347, 4 in CT. Let's do a 4 right here. There we go. In two years, he'll have that done. Nice. <clears throat> Damn pollen, man. Ooh, what time is it? Okay, good. And I just started recording, so that should be pretty reliable. Nice. Okay. I would love to get one more renowned perk. You can now control Kalabsha. We can sneak over to here. Why not? I don't see why not. This is still going to take four months. We're still at 56%. We need more. Let's capture more. The, the Nile River, man. I can't wait until this is our domain. Like, we are part of the Nile River now for sure. We have a lot of good Nile River territory. A lot of it. And it looks beautiful. But this is getting to the real heart of it all right here. All the way up to, Al like, Alexandria is right off to the side of it. Oh, man. Giza, which is a classic Egyptian county. Your neighbor, Islan Sadiq, has won against your other neighbor, Islan Dicin, in the Hadian conquest of the chieftain of Sharka. Okay. It's its own thing now? Y'all are a mess. Y'all are a mess. Anyway, back to what's important. Was there anything I was supposed to be doing right now? 
I don't think so. I think we're just trying to save up money for once. Because we're so poor at the moment. We don't have a chief artist. Uh, art school. Okay, there we go. Chief artist. We already have Teru. She's already doing it. Pet Meow. Pet Meow would be good right now. Yeah, let's do that. I find Meow outside, strutting around the... Strutting, I like it. Strutting around the yard. As soon as she spots me, she meows and saunters over, rubbing up against my leg. I spend many minutes crouched by her side, petting her and scratching at her under the chin. And when I stand back up again, I feel lighter than I have in a long time. Thank you, my friend. That 19 stress is nice to get rid of. Could talk to a confidant. All courtiers, except for the confidant, would lose 10 opinion of us because of envy. But it goes away over enough time. And we need that stress release. Now listen here. After a long conversation with, with my friend, yeah, and I can feel my thoughts calming down. My mind is at ease, though. Whoa! Oh my god! It got rid of basically the rest of our stress, but whoa. Yehudit also lost 10 opinion. I don't think that's the way that's supposed to work. Yeah, we're at one stress now. I mean, over the course of eight years, that'll all go away, but that is surprising. Nefetari's at plus 90? We have a child that doesn't like us at plus 100? What's going on there? You're my rival's friend? Huh? Who's your rival? Yehudit? Nefetari, why are you rivals with Yehudit? That's a crazy move on your part. Okay, sure, I guess. Whoa, that was weird. Once we capture this, we'll have the war target, so we'll slowly... Oh, we already have the war target, actually. Nice. Having four out of five apparently counts for that. A new novice. Agathe. Welcome to our communion, sister. Alright, I have another wife to convert to witchcraft. She already is. Yes. And so is Agathe now. So Neol needs to become a witch now. Convert to witchcraft. And then all our wives will be witches. The good kind, not the bad kind. <coughs> oh my god. I'm dying. Murder, itching for a distraction. The man in charge of cleaning the clothes of Amir Kuti's guards is brought to me. No one notice him tampering with their clothes, and if something distracting for the guards can be planted, what would you have of me, my lord? I want you to grind the rose hips really fine. Cut holes in their clothes in improper areas. <laughs> what? No! Oh my god, that's actually funny. Yeah, do that. I'm not spending 50 gold on advancing the progress of our murder. Especially when, like I said, that's our last hostile scheme I feel like I have to do right now. That looks so good. Moshkoon got control over a, t over a county. Good for him, man. Still in fine health. We love that. Okay, the control down here has been abysmal, it looks like. 2.89 in Berta. All right, let's do 2.89 in Berta. Can finish that up in, in half a year. He'll be cruising through that. How are they doing with their other with their other war they're dealing with? They are defending well, but they're losing a little bit of progress. They lost a battle, really, against these guys. How did they manage to lose that? They must have got outpositioned and outplayed. Okay, 32 for that too. Sheik Bahir's son, which he'll pay 50 gold for. Brilliant. He's got the money. And his wife, Sheikha Gensua. Who he'll probably also ransom for, to be fair. I really want to disband this army, but just in case they show up for us, I, I can't afford that. And another ransom. Nice. 75 gold on a Sheik Bahir here. Bahir here. Up, up, up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Clearly I'm a mess tonight. Why did I even record? <laughs> We're going to keep going anyway, but whoa. What's going on in my brain today? Alright. We have everything we really need, I think. That's 100 gold. That is so tough. Yeah. One county getting that bonus is not really worth the 100 gold, to be honest. 
Oh, we are right there. We're about to hit Court Grandeur 7. There it is. Imprison chance plus 10%. If only that included abductions. Okay. Alright, this war is basically a freebie at this point. This siege finishing would make it go even quicker, but... I don't see how they stop us now. The Tullinids are going to lose this duchy. We're going to give it to Fatima. She's going to be our new chancellor. Neol is still a great chancellor, but she's not Fatima good. Though Fatima lost some diplomacy from being a witch, I suppose. Okay. Why not, I guess. I'll have to give Nefertari something small, somewhere, since she is a part of the dynasty. Seventy-eight hundred at full strength. They just keep getting stronger, man. Look at the size of these men at arms, too. No way. No way. There's just no way. We cannot handle that. Okay, we had a hook expire on some nobody. That's alright, I guess. Court Granger level 7. There it is. How do we compare to the other courts? Photo mode. What? Wait, I can do what? That's actually pretty cool. Some people love the photo mode. Uh, Court Grandeur. We're ranked 6th in the world for Grandeur. People know. Like, we're not under the radar anymore. We have an exalted among man, Savior, who a religious icon of his faith, on his way to being a legendary figure, with a court that is the 6th most grand in the entire world. Only behind Kosala, which is a surprise. I don't even know what that is. Um, behind the Pope, who is 18? What? The King of France, the Abbasid Empire, and the Eastern Roman Empire. These are two of our neighbors soon. That's going to be one other reason this playthrough is kind of hard. Is Even after we get here, just keeping our land away from the Eastern Roman Empire and the Abbasid Empire is going to be a lot of work in of itself. That's a bad looking plague. What is going on here? Spotted fever, 30... Uh, we just saw another fatality climb up there. Huh. Silver Tongue already dealt with that county. Easy. Monthly progress, minus 0.22. What? That's weird. So even if he's there, it's still going to lose progress. That's not worth it. Four point seven three in Wolkite. Wolkite. Finish that up. All right. Just trying to make the most use of his time. I know that some counties were maybe be a little more important to make good, but ooh, we can invite agents. Ooh, 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 ooh. His own bodyguard. We can bribe for seventeen gold, which would cause twenty stress. But it would increase the success chance from 44 to 81. Wow, his bodyguard would join us? And 15 for her to join. 17 for him to join. And 14 for her to join. Is it worth it? A little stress... And 17 gold to drastically increase our odds? I think so. This man needs to go down. And it's about to go down, so... 37, like I said, we get this to 81, actually. So if we get... This chick, that's 94 if we get her on board. But that's, that's, that's two hits of greedy, and maybe that's going a little past what Minkari would do. Let's not do that yet. Good, he took the bribe. 81-89 is pretty good odds. Let's make it roll. And this should end this war right here. Ooh, we're so close. Alright. The court imam? What is that? Is that their religious figure? 
He won't convert. Yeah. Guess who gets to stick around for a long, long time? All right. She's very competent in her craft. That's not great. She wants to go to the Middle East on an adventure for 51 gold. Prowess, diplomacy, and learning. Yeah, her prowess is zero. Her diplomacy and learning aren't bad, but I don't know if we need an artifact so bad that we're going to take competent. Nah, I'm good. Appreciate it. <clears throat> and now we wait a very short amount of time. Drink of life. My agents have acquired a discreet powder which leaves no trace when dissolved in drink. The servants responsible for refilling and handling Amir Kuti's cup have been bribed to look the other way, and all that reminds is my approval to smuggle the poison into his next refreshing drink. A toast to his health. 81%! Yes. Amir Kuti is dead, killed by a deep drought of spiced wine. My agent slipped the poison into his goblet and watched it dissolve without a trace. Only when his throat swelled shut did he realize something was wrong, but by then it was far too late. Oh my god, always, even at 89%. Unfortunately, my agents were seen, and the bribe servants didn't hesitate to reveal my involvement. There goes another 50 legitimacy. I can't catch a break, man. Uh, we had insane luck in so many ways in this playthrough, but I'll tell you, our hostile scheme luck is pretty atrocious. But that is what it is, I guess. Alright. Um, I can also start making duchies for legitimacy, to be fair. Which could be good for the sake of renown as well as other reasons. Can you select that, please? Yeah, there's a lot of reasons that would be good, to be honest. 1,200. I thought it needed 1,400, but okay. 1,400 is the cap, but it needs 1,200 for the... Okay, okay. 260 legitimacy, huh? Um, we can make kingdom titles. How, how good are those? 52 legitimacy? And 26 for duchies. Huh. Interesting. Alright, we'll keep it in mind, but we don't need to do that right now. <clears throat> oh, they are upset. Alright, they are starting to pull their defense back. Yeah. The Sunborn Conquest of the Duchy of Nobatia. This is over. They got nothing on this. I'll be right back. Ah, okay. I am back. <laughs> Real life called. I watched the sleeping shape of Neol when I send a quick prayer to Kansu. Welcome to our communion, sister. Good. We got all the wives on our side. We have no more hostile schemes that we need to commit. Other than maybe finding a spouse through abduction in the future, uh, I, which I don't think is up for the up for up for the debate right now. There we go. <clears throat> uh, nope, not really. Which is fine by us. We are fine on the amount of wives right now. I was thinking about it while I was gone in real life for about. I mean, I was only gone for like three minutes, but. <clears throat> Something I did think about is that when we might get legitimacy for beating them because this is actually, you know, something on scale with us. The Tullinid Dynasty and Aten are kind of on the same scale at the moment. Alright, yeah, we gain 52 legitimacy, we gain 150 fame, you seize all of that Novatia. We get three vassals, interesting. And the Duchy of Novatia will not be created by this war, enforced demands. Ooh, we could steal their children. <laughs> uh, we'll accept at least one of these. Wow, I can actually force that? That's crazy. So we can hold Princess Radia bint Alabas of the Tolanid Sultanate hostage. I don't know if that stops us from declaring war on them in the future. Huh. I really don't have a reason to, to need to do that. If I'm making a mistake by not doing that, let me know. Enforce demands. 
To the vile Pharaoh Menkare, may Allah destroy your house. You're a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Sultan Ahmad II Ibn al Abbas of the Talonid Sultanate. So be it. Disband all. There it is. A ten is spreading its way up. We'd love to see it. Let's make this duchy. Create. Bang. And then grant that to Fatima. Where is she at? Okay, seriously? You make this so difficult, Fatima. I don't know what's going on with you. Take these two chiefdoms and the duchy. Oh, that's right! I can't grant titles to women! They have to get it some, through some other means. Oh my god, I guess we'll give it to Pi for now. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. He can't be stand up that he does not stand to inherit. Oh my good god. This did not go how I imagined it would at all. Son of a... Are you serious? I could give it to a Tem soon. I could give it to him now, but... Man, <laughs> when's his birthday? 24th of February. Man, he's, he's almost a full two years away from being 16. Ah, uh, we need to wait five years before we declare war on the Tullinids again. Wow. The Palestinian conquest for that? Oh, you better win that because that's something I plan on taking from you soon. Hold on to that. Okay. Now. We've done a lot of things that need doing. We could actually try to schedule this grand tour. We probably have the money. Huh. If we do, we can't go there. That's just too far away. So is this, to be honest. What if we did a loop here? Oh, my bad. Hold up. Undo that. What if we did bang, 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 and then went to the new areas and came back? That could be much better. Drylands, which the Desert Warriors are supposed to be helping with, but it's still that dangerous. That's crazy. 54% chance of danger because of the holder's opinion. Nah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, maybe going up there is not a good call right now. Okay. Uh, if we can't do that... Because I want to do one. I really do. Maybe if we work our way down south? Uh, skip on Terde because she's a lost cause. Gideon's not a lost, lost cause, though. Right. Yes. Here we go. Do a loop like this. Skip the lost cause. Oh, I should hit Megane, shouldn't I? Because he's not a lost cause. Uh, move Megane way up on this visit list. I'm trying to get a. I'm trying to get a route that makes sense. Uh, yeah, that would still cause us to cut through her though. Which I think would make it very dangerous to go that way. Man, making a Grand Tour work is complicated. Especially in these big areas that we have. If we did that, it'd be 16 medium chances. Hold on now. That's crazy. We don't have hills. Okay, so Mountaineers would make it 0 12, 3. That's still absurd. That is still absurd. The county control is just not good enough. Would this make it safer at all if we did this? No, not really. Come on, guys! I want to do a <laughs> want to do a grand tour. Let's save up more money for a bigger tour anyway. Maybe saving up money is the call right now. Needs a worthy successor. We lost the successor. Oh no! Ah, oh. he's lost it. Okay. Call for an eligible knight. Seek worthy accolade successor? It's not letting me click anything. It's the problem. 
Wow, rank four on the acclaimed champion, Ock. Well done. This accolade already has potential successors. No, it does not. Is it because he's not serving as a knight right now? Because he's getting too old? So he's like, he's not performing at the moment? How about force? Now is it happy? There we go. Okay. We had to force him to be a knight, I guess. Ox down to 20 prowess. She's lost 13 from old age. She's just getting so up there. I'm going to be so sad when she passes on, man. Oh, man. Call for an eligible knight to join your court. Man, that'd be great if I could, but... Unfortunately, this guy is, like, here. He's infirm and melancholic. Yikes. That's what happened to his prowess. He was actually pretty good. Legendary Blade Master, he had 12 from that. But he lost three from Craven, six from Infirm, two from Agrarian, and two from Old Age, and it's only gonna get worse. Yikes. Not ideal at all. Appoint a tax collector. You're not taxing your clan vassals? Who now? These guys are clan vassals? I'm not clan though. Yeah, they're all they're like feudal and clan and stuff. Uh oh, Pi would be a great tax collector. Look at that. Basically doubles the levies and gold from it. A point. And there's nothing there to get. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that looks good. That was, looks good to me. Well done, Pi. Alright. And the world moves on. Oh, France is starting to lose their war here. What happened to it? Did it split? Looks like that split over there. Weird. It's a whole bunch of tiny little counties. Meow. <laughs> Meow. I look down to see that my cow has dropped a scroll at my feet. See that my food taster Khalil's distinct style and giving him the curiosity skin of the text. The love I hold for another. He's hiding such a thing. He has a lover, does he? That's fine. I'll hold on to that. Why shouldn't he? He's not married or anything. Should I help him make it happen? Our man who made the that awesome box earlier? Who's your lover, bro? Nefertari? Oh no, you can't do that. You're betrothed to your brother. He said. And then immediately went, what? I'm going to take that weak hook, I think. Yeah. Think of, think about touching royal blood again. I like you, but I don't like you that much. Calm down. We'll hold on to it for now. Don't you touch my daughter now. Virtuoso performance. My friend Yehudit is so talented. True. Of all the people I would hate to have as a foe, Yehudit is surely somewhere near the top of the list. Speaking of, I should really have her disrupt schemes again. A master manipulator and brilliant schemer. Her skills are, are as a hat home stealing a sweet treat from a kitchen maid as they are laying the foundations for the fall of dynasties. Let's go. Perhaps I could ask her to give me some tips and tricks on that area of expertise. Teach me Yehudit. 39% we get an intrigue. 43% you earn, learn nothing useful, but thank Yehudit for the effort. 17% you're so inept that yet it gives up in frustration annoyed. We're arrogant. 25% chance we beat her in a contest of intrigue. Yeah, 16 versus 23 is not great odds. I'll never be at her level. Arrogant and greedy says we'll never do that. Okay, yeah. We'll lose 28 stress because we're diligent. That'll get us down to zero too. Teach me yet it. You're so inept she gives up in frustration. What? Come on. <laughs> Uh, in the way, I'm pacing back and forth inside my residence, thinking about this or that, and then I accidentally bump into some of this furniture. Whoops, silly me. Uh, that silence was me looking around my room, wondering who asked. What kind of event is this? <laughs> Thanks for the two stress, I guess? <laughs> what are we talking about here? This is Pharaoh Menkare. The Great. Rip Khalil. Um, 
the blood father, the savior, the magnificent, the pharaoh. And you're telling me I gained too stressed because I bumped into furniture. You're going to have to let that one slide. 41, and we're still excellent and full of vim and vigor. Let's slap. Let's go. Uh, Amina 10 are now in fine health. They're not going to be nearly as long-lived as we are, unfortunately. Something, something to think about. Bogirj Hati's non-believer secret. Oh, we gotta fix that. Oh, we have got to fix that. <sighs> I kind of knew it, too. He was originally not so for us. Could dismiss him. He's starting to outlive his usefulness. We'll hold on to him. He's not along much longer for this world, anyway. If his secret gets out, we'll have to dismiss him for appearance's sake. Ob absolutely. For appearance's sake. What am I talking about? That's not who Menkare is. Dismiss this man. He's he's past his usefulness and he's not even ominous. This costs prestige? Okay, never mind. I I really thought I could just do that. I'm a little surprised I can't. <clears throat> okay. Uh I'm gonna expose him. They are just, so they lose 33 stress. You bastard. Yeah, Kushitic. About Ap uh, Apodemoc? Apodemoc? What? We need to wait till 9-11 AD to convert him again? That's messed up. You know what? We have 150 prestige. I don't even care. He's my champion. Yep, not anymore he's not. Loses 30 opinion for 20 years. Leaves your court. Ibrahim Hartzi, my champion. His child also leaves my court, even though he's comely and quick. Ooh, wild oats. Born from Yehidit. Interesting. Yehidit would definitely hate that. Ah! Okay, we keep going back and forth, but because Yehidit's my friend, I'll let him die soon instead of banishing him in, him in this very moment. Till April 909. Okay. That's actually a lot of time. We're actually gaining good money right now. Military's building up. Mashkud is ready to control another county. We need control over here. That's what I saw last time, for sure. 5.8 and... Oh, 0.43. Never mind. 237 and hate is not bad. 3.94 and he fought... Let's do that. Knock that out. And in less than a year, we'll have all three of those counselors getting done with something. Marshal, stalwart leader. Four prowess, 5% foot experience. Reduce the risk of commanding armies. May travel, challenge rivals to single combat. Inflict stress if you win. Next time will be a bunch of night effectiveness, which is actually a crazy perk. Because night effectiveness is one of the most important, if not the most important thing about your military. Assuming you actually have good knights in the first place. Yeah. This will be great for him actually leading his armies. And then this will be just stacked on. The number of knights plus four is kind of nuts. Maybe we can pass on this. I'm not sure. Need to get a never back down for sure. I'll probably go all the way to household, household guard though. Look at our prowess! How long does that grand tournament thing still last? Grand Gifted duels till 9.09? Uh, it's it's going to be done in like less than a year. What a shame. I'm loving having all this prowess on this man. We have a rival. I can challenge him to a duel. He won't accept, but I can challenge him, right? Oh, I thought I could. You have a truce. Oh, gross. That's no fun. I can't challenge this either, can I? No. All is fair? Many treatises have been written on honorable conduct in war, but those authors' lives weren't on the line when they put pen on the paper. Pen to paper, sorry. Should I want to maximize my chances of winning in battle, it may be worthwhile for me to consider employing some more unorthodox strategies. I'll trick my enemies into overextending. Ooh. Okay. Hit and run tactics will wear down my foes. Practice hit and run tactics for five years. I'll not stoop to fighting dirty. 20 stress loss. We don't need that. 
My gambit works successfully or my gambit fails embarrassing me. I like the 100 martial lifestyle experience, so let's hit that. Broken Dreams. Oh, no. I gather my retinue together for some war games. Eager to try out my idea of faking a route to lure my opponents into overextending. Fortunately, when my team attempted to try my new tactic, we were unable to hold our ground. We suffered a quick and humiliating defeat when the enemy side quickly broke through our line and caused our ranks to disintegrate. Everyone who participated in the games now thinks that I am a fool and wants no further involvement in my ideas. <sighs> he never was. Marshall has always been his worst trait. But Mankari is going to get there. I believe in him. He's going to work his way up there for sure. Just give him a chance. How long is this truce with this man? 20 months until we can take... Because th this is the last county I want from down south. To get like all of the Nile River under wraps. Hold court. Though, you guys have been leaving a lot of comments about a world conquest. And if we're doing a world conquest, I should really just be conquering everything, shouldn't I? Which, you know, we could do. Alright, where am I at? What am I doing? Hold court. Absolutely. Here are the petitioners. <clears throat> a provincial merchant steps forward, clearly out of his element in my rich halls. I beckon, come, man, we don't have all day. Yes, my lord, he stammers. I am Alaris, representing the disgruntled traders and freemen of er, Ikmindi, Kurda's greatest city. Oxentis, our Hatia, bed, let alone <laughs> attend to the town's problems. We only ask you to be replaced by someone else. He's refusing to leave his bed, but he's he's not even a real guy. Hatia Oxentis, who's 83, he's like infirm. Right, right, right. He is no longer fit for the job. He is diligent, trusting, and honest. What a guy to take over, to be honest. 60% chance of Merchant's Touch being bad, 39% of it being good, and it would be really good, but you gain Civic Meddling either way. McMindy's election will come early. Let's do that. Civic Meddling for 10 years anyway, really. And what does Exintus have to say? 89% chance that we get 80 gold and he loses 15 opinion. 10% that his ruin doing is not proved and we lose 40 stress because of greedy? Nah, that's too effective. Look at the chances on that. Absolutely. What does Exintus have to say? Incompetence is found. 80 gold. Score. That grand tour looking way more likely. A peasant woman stands before me, informing the court of her plea. The recent war took a toll on the countryside and we're not sure who the culprit was, but they looted an important cultural site to us Nubians from Kurta. Please, we beseech you, spare some of your resources so we can see it restored. The peasant ends her request with a clumsy bow, a clear indicator of her lowborn, of their lowborn status. <clears throat> well, great, so we're not going to do that. And Yoka gained peasant leader. Interesting. Use the remaining materials for other buildings. You lose 27 stress because of greed. Nubians and ancient Egyptians lose 20% cultural acceptance. And we have 15. That would be everything we've built up. We get reduced building costs. We can't afford to spend gold on this matter, getting displeased peasants for five years. Increasing danger for five years. Absolutely great. Just in the chiefdom of Kurta, though, to be honest. Do we have any stress right now? What's our stress at? Is that at zero? It's at two. So it's effectively at zero. We don't have to worry about that so much. Um... Let's do we can't afford to spend gold on this matter. We don't need the stress loss. And eventually we should probably want the Nubians to have good culture, but maybe we don't. It's just not worth pissing off that much cultural acceptance for 10% less building costs for 10 years and one chiefdom. No, that's a terrible choice. Can't afford to spend gold on this matter, unfortunately. The air is thick with anticipation as my vassal Hatia Ames approaches me. My lord, I come with grave news. Wow, this is a very untalented man. He could fight, though. But with a solution to fix this problem, it's become increasingly clear that the Dajus and ancient Egyptians are becoming more, perhaps even too similar. It's paramount that we show them that it's us, ancient Egyptians, who are the forefront of innovation. Absolutely. I host a festival to celebrate our rich ancient Egyptian culture. Increasing our cultural acceptance from the Dajus by 10%. Is that at 43, actually? Yeah, that is pretty high, isn't it? Okay. 40 opinion of the man who can fight. Arrange for an, exhi an exhibit to show off our grandest accomplishments. By 5%. Man. I mean, that's clearly 
what Nankari would do. And that's I think that's what I would do. Let's go. Let's host a festival to celebrate a rich ancient Egyptian culture, the most superior culture there is. My business here is done. Legendary figure is right there, ladies and gentlemen. It is right there. Pharaoh Minkare is on the cusp. I can't even spend that prestige. Like, it's so it's so sad. I can't even spend it. I could get high tribal authority and ruin some opinions. But it would give me a lot more powers and it would let us start moving towards here sooner. And then we can become feudal or clan down the road here. We do need to get rid of tribal eventually, for sure. Let's do it. Pass the law. Yeah, we lose some vassal opinion, but not the end of the world. Be alright. Yeah, we just have so much prestige and nothing to spend it on. Because our military can only be so good. It's just sad. It's sad is what it is. Maybe I should always have pikemen, and these light footmen and bowmen might have to go? Because pikemen are just superior, kind of, as long as you're not up against something that counters them. They are spearmen, and... None of these counter spearmen. Heavy infantry probably counter spearmen, but I'm not seeing a lot of that. And the auditor is still, what, 20 years out? 16 years? That's better than I thought, but okay. 22 on the quilted armor. Yeah, our culture's garbage. I do need to start working on our Greek culture, like, acceptance. It needs to be... Okay, target culture is not present in at least one county in your realm. So I need a Greek county? Yikes. And the cultural acceptance between ancient Egyptian is less than 80. It, oh, it's definitely less than 80. Oh, it needs to be 80. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Alright, gonna have to work on that acceptance for sure, on the culture there. Because if we're gonna mix with Greek, that's gonna take some work. Right now it's at zero and it's only trying to go down. Which is the Roman pride! Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's a shame. Yeah, that's, that's tough, actually. That's gonna be tough. Formed from Roman and Hellenic culture around year 610. That's pretty cool. What does it say about ours? Doesn't say it. Okay. Michael Kuda to Dorico. He's okay. And she is too. Yeah, alright, sure. Grant the vassal. That's fine. Did she just make that duchy, by the way? Maybe she did. I'm not sure. Alright, if we are doing a world conquest... At some point, I should probably just take these counties while they're free, rather than sit here doing nothing. Uh, so let's do that. We're not going to move super fast or anything. Just take some things here and there while it's open and free to go. Uh, we have 19 more months on Ausa, and I do want to take that eventually, but... Conquer County. He's got, he's got a couple allies that are okay. Conquer. Sharka? Has one ally that's okay. Dara. Has two allies that are not good. And Burgi. Who has one ally that is pretty weak. Oh. She is our faith. Really? That's kind of cool. Alright, we won't declare war on her then. She might just offer to be our vassal at some point. Minus 20. See how close that is? If she wasn't ambitious, we'd be at zero already. Oh, yeah. We, we don't need to declare that war. We can just take these three and she'll come too eventually. There we go. Three bodies, three sieges. The ancient Egyptian. Ancient Egyptians. We definitely do war. Us! Yes! Let's get some practice with these weaker opponents. 24 advantage on Menkare. Okay. He's on the board. Better than Queen Agathe, except for in uh, Desert, Desert Mountains, Oasis, and Drylands. Then her advantage tops ours. But outside of those areas, better than Agathe in combat. Let's go. We have the 300 pikemen and six of the champions with us. Ah, oh, no! 
Oh, man. Oh, rest in peace. Strongest Servant of the Sun. Auk has been a unit almost the entire game. Debatedly one of the best things Anamore did in his entire uh, sinful life was, rec was recruit Auk for us. Wow. <sighs> Only time will tell if Ozalesis can reclaim the title's former standing. It went down a rank. Okay. That makes sense that it would lose some glory. Yeah. Gains the scoundrel attributes? What? Who? Scoundrel attributes. From what? Interesting. Let's go to the... Uh Gotta find us a successor. Yeah, seek a worthy success for, success for 125 prestige. Yes. Within six months, that's hype. Scoundrel. Secondary attribute. Uh, okay. Why scoundrel, my man? What made you choose that? Alright, sure. I guess. For, fi for now, that's okay. <clears throat> Shame about his melancholic and infirm kind of ruining this whole thing for him. But anyway, back to what we were doing. Absolutely back to it. Wipe him out! Oh, Minkara even has the toughest battle. I couldn't do it. <laughs> we're not good enough yet. <laughs> Wait, does he still have his 40 prowess? Oh, never mind. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. 40 prowess. There's absolutely zero shot. With 40 prowess and the perk that reduces his risk of commanding an army, there's no way he dies here. Absolutely zero way. We're risking Menkare to get him some his first experience in a real battle. Game on. Minus one advantage against Nasie Harab. Okay, here we go. Forces captured Coat, the Chancellor of Islan DC of Hadia, for winning the Battle of Hadia. Oh, that was, he's from a battle? Nah, should have died in it. Look at the size of that man. Oh my god. I bet he burns extra bright. 29 to 296, the slaughter at Hajia. Yeah, for sure. Menkare leading his first battle? Don't pop up like that, you're gonna scare me. I swear to god if he dies. My daughter Connor, little friend Darme, have had taken a copy of the hieroglyphs from the study and brought it into the playroom. Ka tried to read it, but quickly realized that the words therein were best left for the god's servants. She seems completely content with her inability to understand the deeper meaning of the book. Be content in not knowing, I say. No. Respect those words, they hold wisdom and meaning. Humble. It's all nonsense, girl. Ignore it. Cynical. Oh, that's not good either. Wait. Faith conversion... Oh, conversion cost. Not... Yeah, never mind. That's also sinful to ominous for good reason. Humble or content? Humble has obviously got a lot of good traits to it. Content is not bad either, to be honest. And it's free, no stress. Alright. It's it's a good enough trait. We'll take content for now on Ka. How's Narmer doing, by the way? He's also... Whoa! The, the content pair right here! Interesting. Well, they're not going to aspire for their older their older sibling's stuff, I guess. It's always good. There it is, Mankare's first battle led by himself. 106 to 269 at Dara. Wow, we captured the leader. You took your foe, enforced the mans. That's a wrap. So be it. Kopsha got incompetent tax collection. Yikes. Tax collection efforts are failing in the county. Oh man, you're supposed to be excellent at that, Pi. And Guido, who is a terrible champion and definitely should have died in battle, without a doubt. Uh, we really don't need this right here. Amanok learned Sudonic, why not? 89 to 197, okay. There we go, Am. Wow, really? There's always factions rising against us, but uh, lately none of them have reached a point where they can actually try to do anything. We do have to do something here, don't we? It's 909, so I believe we're 42. True. 
Still in excellent health. We love it. Okay. We do got to start handing over some territory here. Man, oh man. A Tem having a regent is super annoying. But he'll barely have a regent. Do I just wait for February? Maybe I'll wait for February. And then it'll be 15. And then... It'll be less than a year he'll have a regent, which should result in nothing really happening. Look at it spread! 3.88 and Sharka, the one we just took. Why not? Uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, okay. Moshkud is just so much better. If we can do Moshkud over anybody else right now, let Moshkud run it. Plus 13! Mankare comes in as a reinforcement for the flank. Rip. They're wiped out. Captured a champion who's not worth nothing. Should have died in battle. Oh. He is worth something. 10 gold, huh? Alright. And Harire, the marshal. Who should have died in battle. Correct. 76 to 617. The slaughter at Dara. That is a slaughter. Alright, let's go disband our army here. We don't need to pay for this army right now. Oh, look at that bar! That is so full, filled up. Disband. Ten months is crazy. Grand Tour. Trust me, I want to. Okay, it is February 909. If I give a Tem these territories now... Well, 14th, 24th, my bad. Like I said, if he has a regent for less than a year, there's no way that regent gets entrenched. And now he's a witch. Nice. There's no shot he gets an entrenched regent in a year. So now I can actually grant him these titles. There you go, Atem. You're content, humble, and zealous. This is the most one of the most pious child children we have. 12 prowess isn't great, but it's not bad. He'll have the Zealot Vassal Stance, which is awesome. Three vassals will be transferred to him. Okay. What is happening here? Duke Atem of Nobatia, because he's now a ruler. <laughs> what is happening there? His clothes, like, aren't loading incorrectly? They are, like, here, but then they don't somewhere else? What if I did that? Yeah, I don't know. Those clothes were, like, bugged like crazy. <clears throat> Let's get something else for him that's good. God, I love Indian armor. It looks so good. Uh, let's go... The Byzantine armor is something we're wearing right now. You can wear Byzantine armor... Kind of like us. It is Greek, which is something that we're kind of for, right? I kind of dig that, though. Let's go with that for now. Is he not bugged out? Does that work? It works. Okay, we'll go with that for now. Yeah, he's got a region for like a year, but that's alright. Assign taxpayers. Yeah, he, he's he got it. We don't need another taxpayer. <clears throat> he's got it. You're not taxing your clan vassals. I don't think I have any anymore, to be honest. You, you might just be wrong on that one. Okay. Tell you what, at the start of the next episode, I'm going to see if I can figure out a schedule to make this grand tour work. I'm not going to spend any more time this episode on it. But if I can, before the next episode, like in between this one and next one, if I can figure out a way to make that path work so we can do a grand tour, I would absolutely love to do a grand tour. I really, really want to. Let's improve Hake. <clears throat> Culture is going to progress soon. There we go. We even captured our foe for a good ransom before we end this war. Nice. You know I love to set people aflame. You might want to pay that ransom before I kill you. Very good. Enforce demands. So be it. it I know it needs worthy success. We're working on it. A Tem can pay us more. Yes, use that hook. 
Should I have Zelane? The High Chieftain Mashkud. Yes! Give Mashkud more power. 100%. Oh, he's a Duke now. Did I do that? I think he did that himself. He might have done that himself. I doubt it, actually. He's got zero legitimacy. Yeah, go ahead. There we go. Showa got him now. Now that one's done. Disband. And then we just need to wait for this one to finish. Eunice Takius may be appointed the strongest servant of the sun. Oh, yeah. 21 prowess with vengeful, brave, and arrogant. That's not bad. She's a soldier through and through. She's not going to be much of a leader. She's also obese, which is not great for a legendary blade master. But that's way better than the current guy. I wish I could just move her into the slot, to be honest. Yeah, she's great. She's our... <laughs> she's our fourth... Our third best warrior. Our third best champion after Queen Agathe and High Chieftain Tamer. Agathe and Tamer both have 28 prowess. Absolute units. Nothing on our 40, but ours is going to go away very soon, unfortunately. Oh, I'm going to miss having all that extra prowess. Alright, here's these lands as well. Sharka is going to belong to who, exactly? We could give it to Jet. After some time passes here. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Same way I did it with Atem earlier. And Atem is... he good enough for a council position? He's not. Alright, we don't have to worry about that then. <clears throat> Good, there's the promote culture we were talking about. Keep the Egyptian ancient Egyptian culture spreading. Go to Shamir next. The culture will get there eventually. It's slow to learn, but Jer learned Sudonic, very cool. I'm realizing we haven't had any kids lately. I think my stop. Yeah, Am is three now, by the way. So Am is pensive. So stewardship or learning. Again, as always. Oh no, wait a minute. Good. Senep TC has a guardian. Kepri has a guardian. But somehow we didn't get Lagus a guardian. How did we mess that up? Not me. Um, Yehudit could do a good job. How about stewardship? Oh, Khalil for sure could do a great job. Make him a steward. Khalil. There you go. <clears throat> Alright, and then finally, um, my daughter who should probably be a learner. Because she's already at 10 learning despite being 3 years old. So yeah, she's going to do great at that. And... I'll, I'll raise Om. Um, sure, she's a genius. I'll raise her. I got an open slot. Slowly but surely, these words taking shape. And there's Dara. Lessons from the past. Though I will surely see many battlefields before I meet my maker, my library holds tales of war from a hundred lifetimes. I've certainly ac recently acquired a tome on the Great Battle of the Catalunian Plains, as well as a time worn scroll written in some ancient language. Who knows what forgotten secrets it holds. Read the newer tome... Studying old battle for 10 years, getting one marshal, but we get critical stress because we're diligent. Critical stress? Where'd all the stress come from? Attempt to translate the old scroll. Oh my goodness. Look at that learning challenge. Look at us crush this. 100% chance to get a martial learning lifestyle experience. 100 martial lifestyle experience. And we get a marshal, a learning, and a commander bonus for 20 years. That's crazy. Absolutely translate the old scroll. That's a ransom? No? Really? No, not execute. That wasn't from a battle or anything. Demand conversion? Renounce your client? Okay. Oh, wow. No, she's going to be rotten in prison, I guess, because she didn't want to give us anything we wanted. Uh, Axado. 10 gold. That's worth. Tucson. <laughs> what a name. Maxabe? Oh, yeah, we got a lot of ransom ransom kids here. 
No, okay. Demand conversion, we cook then. No! Well, I guess you're rotten in the prison then. People being difficult out here. Unless you demand, unless you convert and give us a hook, we're not going to let you go. There's no reason for us to let you go. Okay. Even with the help of a dusty glossary, the scrolls were lucky to share its secrets, but I press on. As the night progresses, the most incredible story unfolds before me. See, if it wasn't for the fact that we had a 100% chance of success, I would have thought that's a fail. By blocking the narrow coastal pass at Thermopylae, the massively outnumbered Greek troops held off the Persian army for seven days. <clears throat> During the last day, when King Leonidas was outflanked, he dismissed the bulk of his army and guarded their retreat in a glorious last stand. This is awesome, by the way. The heroism of his troops is a testament to the power of a patriotic army defending its natural lands. Native lands, there it is. Oh, yeah, like our wet, like our Nile River. Study the battle. 20 years of martial learning, friendly casualties down, and defender advantage plus 5. Or focus on the translation process to get 100 martial life experience and studying ancient texts for 2 learning. Oh, no, 100% study the battle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Study the battle. That's awesome. That was a really cool event. I need stress relief ASAP. A feast would be great right now, wouldn't it? We need stress relief. We also need a caravan master. We don't need a great prestige gain. Um, we don't need great opinion gain either. Just a, just a cheap little feast. Something nice. Something good. And we don't honor anybody because we're arrogant and like that. Recreation for stress relief. Absolutely. Start the feast. The servants run across the hall, bringing the final decorations. Some of the guests are yet to arrive, and I indulge myself with a delicious drink by the fire. Oh, I seem to have spotted some veal cutlets already. We have a lovely time ahead of us. Our stress got so out of control so fast. But we're going to make it happen. There it is! Menkare is a legendary figure. The highest possible level of fame, giving 40 secular opinion, 8 knights. We have it doubled because of our august tree. And we still have 29 prowess, even without the gifted duelist boost. That is awesome. Venkara is not messing around. When's the next tournament? Four years. That's actually pretty soon. Wow, time went kind of fast on that one, to be honest. <clears throat> More ransoms to hit first before we end this war. Get all your kids back in one piece. So generous am I. Enforce demands. So be it. Okay. How long do I have? Uh, tw 15th of December, 909. So we have about six months before I gotta hand them off to Jet, probably. And a feast in four months. Uh, I might be stretching our episode a little long here, but let's see if we can get through the feast before we end the episode. That way I can plan out the grand tour in between episodes. I didn't think about that. Amenhotep learned Sudonic. Nice. Uh, I can't seduce her because we romanced already, right? Yeah, okay. Alright. I guess we're just not having any more kids, which is not the end of the world. Meow purring comfort. After yet another stressful day, I slump down on a chair in my chamber. For how long will I be able to keep this up? Suddenly I hear a quiet meow, my cat meow jumps up on my lap and starts purring. I sit with her for a while, just listening to the calming sound and petting her gray fur. I think I can do this for a bit longer. Nice. Meow with the clutch stress relief right there. Love to see it. Wait, we're defending against someone now? Oh no, you've messed up. You probably should have let this war go instead of forcing it. That was not smart on your part. Now you've really made a mistake. High Chieftain Jima won against Islan Balad in the Chieftain of Jebba. Of her Jebba. That's a great name. Bali right here, okay. I don't want to take the Ajaran Empire yet if we are doing a world conquest. Either way, I'll have to stall out on that one. And maybe we'll do a, a, a more casual world conquest where we just do the big kingdom wars and not do just a bunch of tiny little county and duchy wars like we have in the past. We'll give it a shot. Oh, Mashkud has got him. 
They're caught. They're caught. This will end this war. The feast is beginning. Wow, nice. <clears throat> 19 guests. Kind of small for a feast, but okay. The guests are gathered in the Great Hall, lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. I normally prefer the company of books to people, but duty is duty. Ah, uh, we're an eager reveler coming up, though. Teraday, why are you here? You should have known I didn't want you here, of all people. Nice, 17 stress down already. I did everything I could to ensure Pedabost and Hajar would be as far from each other as possible, but they're going to duke it out anyway. Uh, he's ominous, so obviously Pedabost is who we side with, but... Oh, never mind! Our diplomacy skill! Which is at 20 now, actually. Yeah, true! Okay. One of my guards close to the brawl looks to me or for the order to intervene. Halt! We'll talk about this later. That's a win for both of them. Get that prestige up. Nice. Your neighbor, Amir Delu has won against Keeley for the chiefdom of Tumak. Oh, Salamat is extending. Okay. <laughs> There's the kid after we killed his dad. Nice. Good for him. I know what I said. I just don't understand why you find it so funny. Yehidit cocks her head to the side while I withhold my chortle. Is Yehidit high? Why are her eyes like that? Oh, she's ill. Got it. Cox her to the side while I withhold my chortle. I haven't told her what she said could be interpreted as something lewd. She had a lovely chest on display in the courtroom. I may not be alone in thinking this funny either. Nefetari spat out some of her drink when Yehidit repeated herself. The two can share the same kind of crude humor as I or they can be offended by it. I won't know what either thinks unless I speak up. I, uh, never mind. Uh, we are an eager reveler, so you take the risk of embarrassing Yehidit, hoping that you share the same kind of humor. Repeat what you said, but slowly. Really think about it. Uh, she finds a double... She found it funny, though! Oh, closer to a rivalry with Nefertari, but Yehudit liked it. That's weird. Nefertari, why are you like this? The slaughter of Arusi. And we captured Shaggy. I know it's probably Shaggy, but I like Shaggy. And he should have died in battle. Feast Disaster Strikes. My lord, the wine. We cracked open the next barrel. This is probably the oldest feast event ever. Like, this is probably the feast event I've seen the most in all of our playthroughs. It's gone bad. It's all gone bad. The feast is still raging, but without the drink, the mood is sure to divide at a cruel pace. Uh, time to crack open my secret stores, losing us 20 stress, but getting us fought thirst for 10 years for prestige. We don't need prestige. Uh, time for Mankari to be a huge dick. We have to pitch in. Come in now. Come on now. He's going to actually spend 75 prestige on 40 gold, which is a great trade, but that's a dick move to the people that showed up to your feast. Come on, Mankari. As plate after plate of food is brought into the Great Hall, an unmistakable smell reaches me and I smile. That my fanatical vassal, High Chief Teradae, is sensitive to almond is something I sadly forgot to tell the cook. I bid you all welcome and I pray you find the food to your liking. Especially you, Teradae. Enjoy. <laughs> bad reaction to food for seven years, becoming a rival. Oh man, she would be really bad. Her face as I save her from the food is definitely to my liking. Oh. I can't try till 921, that's a shame. The weak hook might really help us convert her, but... Maybe we'll just have better luck with her kid. Especially you, Teraday. Enjoy. Ah, she's still in fine health. Ah, she had more health than I thought. What a shame. A new rival. That's fun. <laughs> That's fun. The celebrations end. Few candles survive after the last of the guests have left. I can hear a pair of servants letting out sighs of relief as the do after the doors close. The food is still warm on the ceramic plates. Soon word will reach every corner of the realm and every noble with their salt will know that my pantry and their bellies. I'm proud to say that the feast was a, was a success. Nevertheless, I'm still grateful that the endeavor is over for now. With that, it's all done. Nice. And 21 legitimacy doesn't hurt. Finish the feast. Okay, we got rid of that excessive stress we were holding on to. Okay, actually, while I'm planning this grand tour between both episodes, I actually need to find someone else to take this over. I just had the realization that if we give Adam, Atem, this land, he's going to own land that's not on the Nile. Which, I don't like. I think the royal blood should all be located on the Nile. So I'm going to have to figure out someone else to give this to. I'm going to figure that out as well. So I'll figure out those two things. I'll figure out who to give this land to. And I'll try to figure out a way to make a grand tour work before the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so 
much for joining me on this journey in Crusader Kings 3 Tours and Tournaments. It's been such a ride, such a blast. After 19 hours, roughly, 19 parts, we are 42 years in, 42 years old with Menkare. And he is still full of vim and vigor. We have a lot of time left with this man. I'll see all of you next time.